In this video, I'll be explaining how to switch between small, medium, and large screens or normal screens. A small screen might be a mobile device and having a title bar, um, a body section, um, and a footer be able to switch um, the size of images is useful when having different size devices um, on the same web page. Notice it's on a single web page and as you increase the size of the window it, in it changes the size of the images proportionately um, and then also allows for um, the um, floating of um, media elements so that it transitions you know okay so if I had a mobile device I'd be able to see you know this type of screen if I had a, an iPad or a uh, surface I might be able to see this and then for a normal screen I would be able to see this I could even have another mode for even larger screens um, if I wanted to okay so let's see how do we do that Let's go into the code now. Okay, so first of all, um, I basically uh, have some elements for large, medium, a transition, which uh, it actually doesn't hit this transition, and small. So in the code, I have the the actual code in this function called adjust title and I create my jQuery um, ready function and when it first fires uh, it calls adjust title and then on any time the window resizes here is when it calls adjust title again um, so every single time I resize then it calls this function and then it goes through the code and when it's less than 578 when the width of the window so my um, so my when my window is less than you know 768 it switches to and there's a strange transition there I'm trying to get rid of that effect but I wasn't able to but it the transition from 578 pixels across on this window will make the uh, transition to the to the next stage. And I'll show you how I uh, change the, the width of these images proportionately is basically, um, you may have to do a little bit of math, um, but <clears throat> um, the small small size, in this case, I'm saying it's one-third the size of the original. So I actually measure the size of the, um, of the normal size screen or the large screen and they're 255 and I just took one third of, of 255, 288, and 168 and for these I did one half and um, so these are 110 of 221 basically it's one half is actually you know 110.5 but pixels um, it's only uh, 110 and then three fourths of the uh, way it, for the medium size um, so these are medium um, elements and this is just adding on 105 uh, to to the to these and then it's adding one third again just to multi um, add itself you know 85 so the 85 plus 85 would be two-thirds of the of the original which was 255 to get 170 and then the same for this one. Just added 94 plus 94 basically, and that gets 188. And then of course, 56 plus 56 is 112. And if I added 56 one more time, I would get 168. So that basically how um, how it transitions to these three different modes, and. So now we can run it, start without debugging, and it automatically starts up on depending on what size the window runs at. So if I was in large mode, when I closed, 
start without debugging. It automatically starts with a large size image, but then as the window gets smaller, it sets all the um, the um, image elements to the smaller size using this technique. The CSS um, for this, basically the name of the div mode, that's the ID field of the element followed by what it is. So I could have large for another um, ID element. Um, so notice that this is the ID of that div. And um, I could have also just said um, div dot small. Then any div that has the um, has the has um, a class called small. Um, I could I could do that too. Um, that way I could have the same class names for multiple elements. But this just does it by ID. So and that's why I chose that that technique. Um, and that's pretty much it for this video. Stay tuned for the next video where I talk about actually using Windows um, a jQuery mobile for the Windows Phone.